Hello YouTube. I want to bring your information uh, to the uh, reports from the Russian Space Forces. Uh, they are descendants of the formidable Soviet Space Forces that were created decades ago. Russian Space Forces are the forces that will face extraterrestrial threat and I already described their work and operations in the video uploaded into my channel a few years ago. Please find the link to this video in the description um, to, to the present video. What is very interesting to me is the increase in the number of space objects tracked in this year, 2021. I am certain that President Putin shared some information during the meeting with uh, President Biden, as I'm sure they discussed UFOs and USOs. This actually may indicate the hectic uh, pseudo-disclosure and sudden interest in the, of the media in the subject of UFOs and USOs. Something is definitely going on. Well, let me give you a brief explanation, first of all. With the merging in the year 2015 of the Russian Air Force and the Russian Airspace Defense Forces, the new Russian Airspace Forces consist of the three sub-branches, Air Force, Air and Missile Defense Forces, Space Forces. Let's look at the latest report in the information promulgated by the Colonel Alexei Zolotukhin, a representative of the Russian Airspace Forces. And the date of um, when he announced this is June 1st, 2021. This was two weeks before the meeting in Geneva of the Presidents of Russia and the United States. Russian Space Forces tracked 1,000 objects in low Earth orbit. For the current year, the armed forces managed to detect and record more than 70 launches of foreign and domestic missiles. According to the results of the winter training period, which ended in the armed forces of the Russian Federation on May 31st, the combat crews of the space forces of the airspace forces conducted three launches of space rockets from the Plisets Cosmodrome, which is, means a spaceport, including two launches of a medium class launch vehicles, Soyuz 2.1B and one launch of the heavy class Angara A5. Experts of the main test space center, named after Titov, provided 11 launches of spacecraft from the Splisetsk, Vostochny and Baikonur cosmodromes or spaceports. In total, more than 70 launches of foreign and domestic ballistic missiles and space missiles were detected by the airspace forces this year. It is clear that special attention was paid by experts to monitoring and analyzing changes in the composition and condition of the orbital groupings of foreign space systems as part of the combat duty to ensure the control of outer space in the win winter training period of 2021 specialists of the main center for the exploration of the space situation of the space forces of the airspace forces conducted more than 1,700 special works or projects to control changes in the space situation, during which they discovered and tracked about 1,000 space objects, provided forecasting and monitoring of determination of the ballistic existence of more than 160 space objects, and issued five warnings about dangerous approaches of space objects with spacecraft of the Russian orbital group. So what Zalatukhin says is that actually they tracked 1000 space objects. He doesn't identify them, but usually they would. And uh, also you can see that there were five warnings about dangerous approach of space objects. Uh, with the uh, spacecraft of Russian orbital group, meaning that foreign uh, satellites came too close. If it was not something terrestrial, they would deal with it another way. 
Now let's look at the earlier report. This one is from May 1st, 2021, from the Department of Information and Mass Communications of the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation. And it says, as part of the combat duty to ensure the control of outer space in 2020, the space forces of the airspace forces performed more than 3,000 special projects to control changes in the space environment. During the past year, the specialists or experts of the main center for space situation intelligence discovered and tracked over 1,200 space objects, monitored the launch of about 600 spacecraft into orbit, provided forecasting and monitoring of the termination of the ballistic existence of more than 360 space objects. Special attention was paid by the specialists of the main center for the space situation intelligence uh, to control the composition and condition of the orbital groups of foreign space systems, as well as to prevent dangerous approaches of domestic spacecraft with other space objects. This is an interesting sentence. So, in 2021, in just six months, the Russian military has tracked 1,000 space objects. They say about 1,000. It would be great to find out how many of them are two UFOs, and of course, you, you know, they, they cannot identify everything, but it's the designation of the extraterrestrial sentient threat that would be of interest to me, I'm sure. No, I'm not the only one. Uh, for those who want to know, Russian space force forces perform a wide range of missions, including monitoring space objects and identification of potential threats to the Russian Federation in space and from space, prevention of attacks as needed, carrying out spacecraft launches and placing into orbit, controlling satellite systems, including integrated ones intended to be used for both military and civilian purposes in flight and using separate ones towards providing the Russian Federation armed forces with the necessary information, maintaining both military and integrated satellite systems, but launching installations and assets of control in the workable order, and a number of other tasks. I think we should expect more news soon. Like I said, I'm sure something is going on in the United States and Russia are sharing information and I would definitely not exclude China from this friendship club. I, there, as I told you uh, in my other videos, uh, for example, Vladimir, uh, Vladimir Putin and UFOs and all the uh, related subjects, um, the best and the brightest of the young Russian engineers and graduates of the prestigious Majaisky Academy, they wind up to be either in GRU or in the Space Forces. And um, strange things happen to that academy, I believe I shared it in my, in, on my videos. But the point is that those are the people that hunt down UFOs and USOs today. Based on my research, I can state it. I don't think there is enough interest in the Western media to Russian developments, which is sad because not everything is centered around uh, Washington DC or the Pentagon. Things are happening in China and Russia. I'm sure those who need to know at the very top of the United States government are privy to what's going on and I, like I said, I have no doubts that information has change hands in Geneva and that's why it happened before June 25th of this year. So we'll see, we'll see. Keep your eyes open and I'll bring you more information. If you can support my research, please do. There are links in the description to this video and I'll appreciate it. If you can tell others about my channel, please do. And uh, subscribe of course and I'm hoping I'm hoping that there will be interested parties in the US media to know that what's going on in the United States has been going on in the former Soviet Union for decades, and I'm sure China too, and we need to
present international aspect of this phenomenon. Thank you for your support.